Steve, we're looking ahead to tomorrow's match with FC Nantes in the UEFA Youth League. How have preparations been going for that one? Yeah, really good. Uh, you know, not only today, but for the last few weeks we've been leading up to this game. So uh, the preparation has been great and we've managed uh, not only when we played against Molden in the last round, but in the last two reserve games against Livingston and then against Queen's Park. Um, near the end of the match, get most of the lads that played in the Molder game back together again. So just keeping that momentum and that flow going, which I think was important. So we've managed to do that. And yeah, the lads are in good spirits, looking forward to it. Yeah, you mentioned those two games for, for the Death Squad. How important is that consistency within the, the starting lineup and then finishing the game with, with a team that you'd hopefully want to see in, the, in this next tie? Well, I think, I mean, sometimes you need to take each game in isolation, you know, but we were leading towards probably what we would deem as a bigger game, and that's no disrespect to the, the Reserve League Cup or the Reserve League. Uh, we have loan players that we've merged in um, to the Reserve uh, fixtures, but we felt that, you know, we, we really had to try and, you know, take some of the loan lads off in, in those matches and make sure we could at least uh, see the you know, the, the way the, the team wanted to gel again. And we managed to do that uh, with two positive results against Queen's Park and Livingston. Um, get people minutes, that are the, the lone boys. And like I said, just just put the the team or most of the team together that's going to play tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. FC Nantes then, what, what do you expect from them? What kind of challenge do you expect from a, a French side? Uh, well, first of all, they're, they're, they're slightly older than us. They, they have three players that, that born in 2003. We don't have any 2003s, our oldest players born in 2004. Slightly older, uh, physical side. You know, they've got a lot of, you know, well uh, matured lads. They've got a very big back four, it looks like. Both full backs could probably be centre backs as well. Uh, they play a 4-3-3 normally. So they have back four, holding midfield player, two central attacking um, midfield players eights or tens, whatever you want to call them. Very mobile strikers and, and, and two out-and-out -out wingers. So it's a, a very, very different uh, task than the game we played against Molda. Mm -hmm. And in terms of it being a first leg then, does that change the way that you approach the game? It does slightly. I, I, I must be honest, we, we would pre prefer to be in France first, but it is what it is. We would like to go there with a lead. Uh, and then, you know, protect the lead. Um, but I think we have to be careful that we don't become too expansive early on in the game and, you know, chase a goal in the first five minutes. You know, it's, it, you know, it's a, a long 90 minutes on a big pitch for, for our guys. So we, we need to approach it in the right way. And I think we showed that we can be aggressive, like uh, we were against Molder, but be controlled. Mm -hmm. And that's probably the message, you know, um, to the lads getting into this game from the first minute. You know, grab a hold of the game, be aggressive, but you know, make sure we close the back door when we're attacking. Yeah, certainly. You mentioned the game against Mulder, in particular that second leg. It was a dramatic night. Over 3,000 Hibs fans watched that game as well. How important will the supporters be tomorrow night? Well, they were amazing for the first game and for the young lads, you know, some of them to play first game on Easter Road, you know, in front of fans that, you know, created an, an amazing atmosphere, along with their, their family and their friends and all the first team and all the first team staff. But to have like Block 7 making the noise and really putting an edge in the atmosphere on the game, you know, full credit to the club, you know, f for connecting with the fans and, and making it accessible and getting them there. Because I think, in all honesty, Mulder were caught a little bit on the back foot with that atmosphere and we hope not it's going to be the same. Appreciate your time, Steve. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you.